Tears for her down Mike's face. Twinkle the cat was dead. As the soil hit the lid of the cardboard box, he realised he'd never have such a loving cat again. The next morning, he was getting ready for school, normally. The only difference... The only difference was the sadness in his heart. As he started to walk to school, he heard a rustling in the bushes. So he turned around and there was nothing there. So he decided to carry on walking and then he heard it again. He looked around and there, standing behind him, was Twinkle's ghost, whispering, avenge me, avenge me. I heard something. Shut up. Shut up. There's something there. Shut up. Wait. It's probably just a squirrel. Let's get a dog. Come on, we've got to go. we're here under not the best circumstances. Um, Aaron unfortunately has taken some steps out of bounds. Um, what that means is um, he has been rude to his fellow students, he's been rude to his teachers and he's been rude to me. Now Mrs Garrity tells me this morning that you said although she looked like an owl she lacked their wisdom. Is this true? Yeah. Do you any idea how that would make Mrs. Garrity feel? Can you consider for a moment Mrs. Garrity's feelings right now? I just didn't understand the point of what she was making me do. 
Yeah, and I, I understand that. You know, sometimes we're asked to do things that we're not quite sure about. We might have different ideas. But in this school environment, in my school, we need to listen to our teachers and follow their instructions. So, you know, whether you agree with them or not isn't really the point here. Is that clear? No. No, it's not. Arrow. What was that all about then, Aaron? Hmm? It's not good. It should be called having to be called into school for your behaviour. It should be excellent all the time. Why why are you being rude to teachers and the headmaster? How was school today, Aaron? Is that what you've got to say? Oh, you've got friends coming up soon. Are you looking forward to it? It's an expensive holiday, so I hope you can appreciate it. Aaron, can you respond to your mum, please? Well, you talk to her. Excuse me? That's not how we talk in this house. So hey, what? Aaron? He's gone down he's out of control. It's like he's nose diving straight to the floor, and there's not a crash mate. Yeah, I know. When me, Jade and Ella were hanging out, Ella said he looked sad and depressed, and Jade said he looked like a stray dog roaming a poorly lit alley. We're losing him. I'm Chloe Cushion. Oh.